Well, we finally have a winner of the not so diabolical uh, 420,000th subscriber giveaway contest. I had received about 30, uh, about 39 entries, and only one person was able to come up with the solution to the puzzle that was presented in yesterday's video. And that person was Lynn and her husband JB from England. So I'll be sending Lynn a $100 e-gift card here shortly, and I hope she enjoys her newfound riches. Uh, so what was the solution to that puzzle? Well, the instructions told you to read a paragraph that consisted of two sentences, and you were to determine what unusual property was shared by all of the words in that paragraph that had three or more letters in them. Well, the answer to that is you can add the letter Y to the end of every word that has three or more letters in it, and it will make a new word or, in one case, a proper name. Let's take a look at it. Here's the paragraph. The first sentence, news flash, is pretty short. Add a Y to the word news and you get newsy. That's an adjective. And flash, that turns into flashy, another adjective. Continuing on with the paragraph, the war advisor might read part of, okay, add a Y to the, uh, to the, and you get they. Add a Y to the word war, that turns into wary. Advisor, add a Y, advisory. Might becomes mighty, and read, that turns into ready, and part turns into party. The honest baker of Boot Hill, once again, the becomes they, Honest becomes honesty. Add a Y to baker. That becomes bakery. Uh, boot becomes booty. And hill becomes hilly. Another adjective. Uh, continuing on, the miser, the fisher, and the fox. Once again, the becomes they. Miser turns into misery. The is they. And uh, the word fisher, add a Y. That turns, uh, that turns into fishery which is a place, you know, uh, where um, fish are hatched and bred. Uh, and the word and, add a Y to that, becomes Andy. That's, that's a name. Uh, it could be either for a guy or a girl. It's, it's usually short for Andrew or Andrea. Uh, the becomes they, and fox becomes the adjective foxy. Uh, Sasha and Bev. Okay, Sasha, add a Y to that, and that turns into the verb, uh, verb, that turns into sachet. That's a verb um, meaning to saunter, like you sachet down the street. Once again, and becomes Andy. That's a name. And Bev, uh, add a Y to Bev. That becomes Bevy. Uh, Bevy is used to refer, I believe, to a, a group of uh, birds. I think in particular quail. I also think cattle can be considered, uh, a group of cattle can be considered um, as a Bevy. Uh, a bevy of cattle or a bevy of quail. So that's what that word is. Uh, in the cage down at the Fort Worth den, the becomes they, cage becomes cagey, down becomes downy, the is they, and Fort Worth den, fort becomes 40, that's a number, worth becomes worthy, another uh, uh, adjective, and uh, den becomes deny the verb deny. So that was the solution. Add a Y to all the words with three or more letters and you get a new word or a proper name. So thank you for everybody who participated. There were about 38 entries or so and only Lynn and her husband uh, JB in England came up with the correct solution. So thanks again for all the support here. The next subscriber contest will be when I reach four, uh, 450,000 subscribers. So that's going to be a while. But in the meantime, I'll have more new videos coming of abandoned mines in unusual places now that the, uh, the winter thaw is pretty much over. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate the support, and we'll catch you on the next one.